age 14, Freddie Highmore is a Hollywood veteran, best known to moviegoers for his scene-stealing performance as Charlie in Tim Burton's 2005 hit Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, co-starring Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. I'll look at him there. Freddie again has the title role in Arthur and the Invisibles, a family adventure that hits theaters next week. Freddie Highmore, good to see you. You know, I'm sorry, earlier I called you 13 and you're 14 years old. You're going to be 15 yep, next month? I am. Yeah, in February. Valentine's Day, actually. Ah, okay. Trust me, someday you will want people... Oh, oh look at this. Someday, Freddie, you will want people to get your age lower than, than really is. Yeah. Just, just trust me on that. Is this your fan club? Do you bring these people out with you everywhere no, you go? No, but they, um, they turned up, so thank you. <laughs> Let's... Let's talk about the movie Arthur and the Invisibles. Have a good time making it? It was great fun, yeah. I got to go to, um, we were in Paris and Normandy. Yeah. Which was good because I got to practice my French. <laughs> and um, also everyone was just so great, you know, like Luc Besson, he's, uh, and Mia Farrow. The director, well. sure. And Mia yeah. Farrow, of course, plays your mom. Yeah, my, that, granny, my granny. Your grandma, your grandma, yeah. yeah. Now, now uh, were you familiar with Arthur, the, the books, before you did this movie? I had read the books, um, you know, just only when I was approached to do the film. Yeah. And, uh... I think they're great. I think it's, it's a good thing because young kids, they're always thinking of maybe there's this little world and that's where they, you know, thinking what if there's little creatures running around like, you know, that you can't really see and I think that's what, that's what Arthur's about, you know. This. Yeah. I mean, the movie begins uh, with, with real characters, with real people, yeah. then you get to go into animation at that point. Yeah, I think that's also quite fun, the way it starts in live action and then... And then um, by traveling through a telescope, he gets into the world of the mini boys and the animation side. Yeah, I mean, I have to ask you, you've worked with some incredible people. As you said, Luke Besson, you, you, you've worked with Russell Crowe, you've worked with Johnny Depp. Is it intimidating to get out there and work with these heavyweights, or how, how do you deal with that? No, I mean, that's one, of the, that's one of the things you learn from working with all these people, that they are actually normal. You know, and they, like Johnny Depp, for instance, he's a fantastic guy, and he comes out on the, on the set every day and says good morning to everyone and treats everyone equally. And yeah. I'd like to think that... If I ever got as, you know, like Johnny Depp, then I'd do that as well. <laughs> when did you get the acting bug? When did you know this was something you wanted to do? Um, it was something I thought I'd... I just, I had an opportunity and I tried out doing smaller parts on TV in England. Yeah. And then um, I did Finding Neverland, which was... Of course. And that was, uh, that was the first big film I did. And then after that, people say, oh, he's, he's quite good. You yeah. know, come and audition for this. Well, you've been very successful, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, what is the coolest part about being 14 years old and being a movie star? Um, well, I wouldn't say movie star, not yet, really. Well, That's I'm going to say <laughs> okay. 14 years old probably. and being a movie star. And be honest, what's the coolest part of that? Um, I think just being able to travel around the world and do... You know, like I've done a film in Cambodia and Thailand, and um, I was in Montreal and New York last year. Yeah. And uh, I think that's one of the best bits, you know, you get to travel around and see different places and see different people. And what's next for you? Um, I just finished something in Montreal uh, just before Christmas called The Spiderwick Chronicles. Um, and that was really good fun and to do. And when is that coming out? Um, I think that's coming out in 2008. Okay. But we need to go and finish it off in L.A. next year. Okay. Freddie Highmore. Hey, continue success to you. Thanks a lot. Nice meeting you.